Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to editing a 3D model in Paint 3D. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video, which was about editing a 3D image in Paint 3D, I have put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to show you how to edit a 3D model in Paint 3D. First of all, I'm going to open Paint 3D from the Windows Programs list. Click Start. And then on Paint 3D. Once Paint 3D is open, click on Open. Now, there is two ways of opening a 3D model. Either opening it as a Paint 3D project, or as a 3D object. If you're opening the file as a Paint 3D project, you will see the file in this list. Otherwise, you can go to Browse Files, then go to this PC, then go to 3D Objects folder, double click on it. Here you will see any of your 3D models or 3D images. I'm going to open it as a Paint 3D project, so I'm going to cancel, and I'm going to go to menu, then click on open. I'm going to open testingchair.png, this is a file that I created previously. Here you can see the chair. If I select it by going to the global toolbar and clicking on select tool, click on the object to select it. If you rotate it, you can see 3D object. So if I move it to the side over here, I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box. We can either import pre-made 3D models or 3D models that we have made into the file. I'm going to import a pre-made wooden desk, go to 3D library, go to search bar and type desk. I'm going to click on the wooden desk. Here you can see the wooden desk. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to make it bigger according to the size of the chair. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to move the chair. I'm going to move it over here. Rotate it. I'm going to move it under the table. I'm going to make it slightly larger because the table is too big. So here we have a desk and a chair. I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside this selection box. Now I'm going to import a 3D object that I have created previously. Before that, let me save this file. Menu. Save. I'm going to import the 3D object into this file. I'm going to click on Menu. Then click on Insert. Go to this PC, go to 3D objects, and you will see any 3D objects that you want to import. Here's the file that I want to import, it's called Testing Bottle. I'm going to double click on it to open it. Here you can see the 3D model. Let me adjust the size of this 3D model using the grip points around its selection box.
Now, if I place it on top of the desk, and I rotate it, now I'm going to group all these three 3D models, so it becomes one 3D model. To select the bottle by clicking on it, then go to multi-select in the sidebar, click on it, then click on the desk, and then click on the chair. Then go to the sidebar and click on group. Now if I rotate it, you can see that all three objects are a single object, they all rotate together. You can see that the bottle is not on the desk directly, so I'm going to put it on. Let me just rotate this. I'm going to ungroup them. Let me select the bottle and let me place it on the table. Now bring it through 3D space using the z-axis position handle. Move it towards the centre of the desk. Go to multi-select in the sidebar. Click on the desk and click on the chair. Once all three are selected, go to group in the sidebar click on it, rotate the 3D model and you can see that it is grouped. Now let me place down the 3D bottle, I'm going to ungroup it again and I'm going to select 3D bottle, let me place it down, now go to multi-select Select the table by clicking on it, click on the chair, group, you can see that it is one 3D object, it is all moving together. Now I've finished editing this file, let me save it, menu, save. Now that we've saved the file, we can close Paint 3D. In my future videos, I'll be posting tutorials on how to make games in Python. I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fulltextcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video.